Hi everyone and welcome back to some more Salutation 6. So, let's continue where we left off. And I don't think I'm going to wait for the ancient walls because I don't like where this Spanish settler is going. I wouldn't want him to start some crappy city and cut us off from Athens. So we'll just switch to a settler, which will not make us lose production. We can switch right back to the ancient walls once we're done with the settler. Or if we check right now, we have our progress right here and we can switch back if we want to. There's no queue functionality right now, which is a bit unfortunate. I assume there will be in the future. I don't know. Anyway, we'll kill the barbarian, like so. And that's it for this turn. Now, where exactly do we want this city? We can get a luxury, but there are also thirds to the northwest. I think I'd rather start a city closer to Valencia just to make sure Spain won't steal our road. So that would be the general idea behind it. Yeah, there's already a builder over here. All right. Kill the barbarian and we got a Eureka boost. Nice one for military tactics. And there's one more barbarian with like one health, which is a little bit annoying. But I guess we'll kill him with our hoplite. That shouldn't be a problem. And we need to heal up a bit. We can also pick up the promotion right now, and that will make us heal up as well. Do we want offensive or defensive promotion? I do like extra combat strength against ranged attacks, so let's go with that. And that heals him back to full. So, and Archer. We'll stay in our city, just in case anyone else gets any silly ideas. I think we should actually try to get declaration of friendship with England. And they will accept. Okay, then. Let's check our relations. Yeah, we have a lot of positives. Okay, then what about Rome? Can we improve our relations with Rome? We already got open borders. Let's have a look. I don't think we can do a whole lot. I'm surprised it's actually still neutral. But alright. Can we make any deals at all? Yeah, not really. Alright, never mind. Maybe another time. If I go to war with someone, it's probably going to be Spain. Or Germany. We could take the German capital quite easily, in fact. Yeah, I think it's actually going to be Germany, but not yet. It will have to wait a little bit longer. Having said that, we could recruit a few more hoplites and then go to war with Germany. But we'll see. I would like to settle at least one more city before I consider going to war. Because again, I do not want my city to get cut off by some crappy Spanish city. That would be very unfortunate if it happened, and I could definitely see it happening. Oh, Germany started a city right next to Athens. What the heck, Germany? That's just rude. Well then... I think we know who the first war is going to be with. Not Spain, Germany. That only confirms my decision. There has to be... Oh yeah, there is a barbarian camp right here. So let's maybe go and take care of that. Sounds good. And kill this guy with one health. And we'll keep an eye on this general area with our hoplite. In case Spain tries to start a city over here. Hopefully they will not. We need six more turns to finish the settler. That city though, it's good to see the AI will still forward settle you like an asshole. Some things never change. At least Ram is not in this game. Yet. Wouldn't be surprised if he was in in the future. So heal back to fall before we go for the barbarian camp and heal the hoplite as well. We should probably go back into our territory. Where are you going with that builder, Spain? What? Yeah, the AI is a little bit derpy at times. I have no idea what they are doing with that settler, but whatever floats their boat. It looks like the barbarian camp is actually gone. Okay, doesn't matter. There's the builder. We will improve the wheat. Actually, first, we should improve the iron. Yep, so let's go and do that. 
and heal back to full. Production. If we are going to declare war on Germany, we should probably get at least walls. At least ancient walls. But I would like to finish that monument because, you know, culture and border expansion. But we will definitely get walls. Right, there are no barbarian camps over here. Okay then, so heal back to full and three turns to finish the settler. Then we will recruit a few more units. A few more hoplites definitely won't hurt, especially considering it's our unique unit. So I would like to use it a little bit more than this. Right, improve the iron. There we go, so that gives us the boost. And production. Water mill, granary, ancient walls, house housing. We don't need housing. Because we are getting a gross penalty already. I guess we'll go for a granary then. Also, since we have 372 gold, it might be a good idea to buy a few tiles. We could grab the furs. Although, it might be worth waiting for a builder first. Before we do that, I might have to grab a builder after the settler. As much as I'd like to focus on military right now, we need a builder. I'd like to hook up the first, at least, and improve some of the tiles next to the natural wonder. That was kind of the whole point of getting that natural wonder to begin with. To take advantage of it. Where the heck is that builder going? I have no idea. Maybe they have some crappy city over here, and they took the roundabout way? Well, I guess that's their problem. We got two more uses. Also, speaking of buying tiles, I guess we should buy the wheat. So these two? That sounds like a good idea. This one is actually in range of the German capital. So we should buy that one ASAP before Germany does it. And there's the settler. So where exactly do we want that city? Somewhere along the road, I think. We will not get proper fresh water unless we start right here, which would not be a very good idea. But I suppose that's acceptable. It's not the end of the world, it's just that we'll have a low housing cap. I guess it's going to be right here, along the road. I like that idea. Sounds good to me. So now we'll get a builder and then we'll focus on military a bit. Ancient walls. Well, we could speed up engineering two turns. If we finish the ancient walls right now. Or three turns even. Yeah, we should finish the ancient walls. Because this is the last moment to possibly do it. To actually take advantage of that Eureka boost. I guess we'll do that and we will buy that wheat. Before Germany gets it. Let's just do it right away. They probably won't like it, but I don't care about their opinion. We will be going to war. So let's just do it right away. We have to buy two tiles, which is fine. There we go. They will not get this one, so the other wheat can wait a little bit longer. Fortify. And let's go and start that city. Probably right here. Okay, hold on. I need to check how many tiles we can get in range. We will get the stone no matter what. We can get the wine in range if we start on this tile. Because it's slightly out of range of Athens. We aren't really giving up anything if we start right here. We'll get the stone to the southeast. We'll get the wine to the northwest. Yeah, this is going to be the location next to the hill. It kind of sucks that we are literally one tile away from fresh water, but oh well, we'll get an aqueduct in the future, so it's not really a huge problem, it's just that we'll have to prioritize granary a little bit more, because the housing cap will be low. But that's okay. So, let's do it. Done. And I can show you housing. As you can see, we only have two housing, because we do not have fresh water. 
which means we already got a growth penalty right after founding the city. This is why getting fresh water for your cities is so damn important. It makes a big difference for city growth. When you start with a penalty, that's pretty bad. But in this case, it made sense to start a city here. We'll just start from a granary. Let's check Tyla's Sunmans. We can get one more hammer. Yep, that works. Alright then, it will take 15 turns for the city to grow, but oh well, that's fine. Alright, improve the wheat. And let's check our Tyla Sunmans. The city is about to grow in three turns. Can we make it grow slightly faster? No, we cannot, but it makes more sense to work this style instead, for obvious reasons. Looks good. Yeah, he didn't like it too much. That is not surprising. Oh, now he's complaining about our other city, and Spain is also complaining. Hey, it's my land. It's closer to my capital than it is to yours. And there's the engineering boost from walls, One man's and that also finishes engineering. Another man's engineering. Okay then. So, let's have a look. What do we want to research next? Probably iron working. That sounds like a good idea. We'll be able to actually upgrade our warriors. Yep, let's do that. Well, literally one warrior, but still useful. No, two warriors. We got one more in the city to the north. As for the builder, we got one more use. We could just buy the wheat, but Germany will not get it. It's too far away from their city, which means there's no need to waste gold. I'll need to spend some gold to buy tiles near our newest city. Because quite a few useful tiles are three tiles away. So with the slow border growth, it will take a very long time to get them. We need more housing, yes, I already know that, thanks for the upgrade. My promise was broken, oh no. It's fine. And we need more amenities in Athens. How's the situation? We are at two out of three amenities required. Okay then, let's see, what do we want in Athens? As much as I would like that water mill, well, we need water mill to get construction boost. Let's get the water mill and then we'll start recruiting some more units. We don't need a granary just yet. Water mill, 17 turns. Water meal should be a priority, because we'll get extra food on wheat. And we got four tiles with wheat in range of the city. That's actually a little bit crazy. Wonder completed. Well, good for him. I wonder how bad the penalty is for breaking our promise. Let's have a look. So, Spain. Spain won't like us, but that's not really surprising. I don't actually see a penalty in here. Moving forces near their cities, minus four. They dislike civilizations with low income. Well, screw you. And what about... Germany? Germany actually likes us, which is pretty funny. Minus six, broke a diplomatic promise. Okay. And minus six, settled near them. But plus twelve, because he's pleased that we are staying away from city-states. Pretty funny that we are still friendly, despite these two negative modifiers. But we will not be friendly for long, if you know what I'm saying. So when exactly do we get that builder? Well, we'll have to find the time for that. And to actually recruit more units. We don't need a lot of units, just a couple of extra hoplites will be enough. So, that shouldn't take too long. Just a few turns. Improve the wheat. And that gives us a boost to feudalism. I think that one is build six farms or something like that. I'm pretty sure that's what it is. Feudalism. Yeah, build six farms. And that's a medieval era civic. Speaking of civics, we are about to finish drama and poetry. So, that's nice. And then we can go for recorded history. 
Unless I want to wait for a second campus. But that will take a while to build. I don't think I want oh, to wait for that. Mysteriously silent on the subject of cheese. So there's Jama and Poetry that unlocks the Acropolis, which is our unique district. And do we want to change policies? I don't think we need plus one faith and plus one gold in the capital anymore. I will keep 30% production bonus towards builders. And what do we want? Let's see. I'm actually almost tempted to pick up plus one production in all cities. It's not amazing, but it will help our newest cities. It actually kind of makes sense right now. As an alternative, we could pick up the discount. 20% discount for purchasing tiles. I will be buying a lot of tiles near our newest city. However, we can always pick that up later. We don't have to do it right now. Let's grab the production. And the next time we switch, we can switch to land surveyors. And then buy a few tiles. We'll save up some gold while we wait for that. Sounds good to me. So, what's the next Civic going to be then? We could go for games and recreation. We might need an entertainment complex in Athens. For amenities. We will not be researching construction technology anytime soon. So it doesn't really make any sense to wait for that. Yeah, it will take a while. We will get a Eureka boost. So we would get construction in around 10 turns. Maybe it does actually make sense to wait for it. Maybe it does. Actually, I think it does. We can research recorded history instead. And then we'll go for games and recreation. Yeah, I will not be building a second campus in the next 10 turns. I mean, it would take at least 10 turns to actually build it right now. If we wanted to build it, let's say, in this city, that would take 26 turns. Because that is a lot of production, so we will not be getting that. We'll research recorded history and then games and recreation. We'll get the construction tech by then. So we'll take advantage of the boost. Sounds good. Carry on. And the water mill is almost done. The hoplites are here. Two turns to finish Aaron working. Then we can upgrade the warriors. Maybe we actually have enough units to just declare war on Germany like this. I think we do. We got five units total. This should be enough. And we can claim our great person. The great prophet, right. So that will start a religion. We have to do it on a holy site, which is fine. So let's have a look. You can choose a name for your religion or go with one of the default ones. There are also some custom religion symbols if you want to use those. We'll go with my old favorite. And what can we pick up? So, what do we have? Feed the world. Shrines and temples provide food equal to their faith output. Jesuit education. May purchase campus and theater square district buildings with faith. I really like that one. Next up, we got relics have triple yield of both faith and tourism. Then, religious community. Shrines and temples provide plus one housing. That one isn't bad, because housing is not that easy to get, actually. And there are very few buildings that give you housing that do not take a tile, as in, that aren't districts, like the neighborhood district. There are sewers later in the game. And really, that's about it. There are very few things that you can use to increase your housing limit without building a district. So that is a nice one. Next up, we got work ethic, plus 1% production for each follower, and Zen meditation, plus 1 amenity in cities with two specialty districts. I like that one too, but I think we'll go for Jesuit education, that will save us a lot of construction time. And next up, we can pick one of these. So, cathedrals, plus 3 faith and 1 slot for religious art. 
Gordwaras or whatever, plus free faith and plus one food. Meeting house allows construction of meeting houses plus free faith plus two production. That one isn't bad. Anything that gives production is quite valuable, actually. Mosques plus free faith. Missionaries and apostles have plus one spread. So plus one use of their spread ability, I assume. Pagodas plus free faith plus one housing. That one is also good for the same reasons that I mentioned just a moment ago. Housing. And then we got Wads, plus free faith, plus two science. Also pretty good because science. Church property, plus two gold for each city following this religion. Then we got each holy site or theater square in a city following this religion provides plus one faith and plus one culture respectively. Then we got papal primacy. Type bonuses from city-states following your religion are 50% more powerful. Pilgrimage. Plus two faith for every city following this religion in other civilizations and city-states. Stewardship. Each campus or commercial hub district in a city following this religion provides plus one science or plus one gold respectively. That one isn't bad. Tithe. Plus one gold for every four followers of this religion. Ward Church, plus one culture for every five followers of this religion in other civilizations. Defender of Faith, combat units gain plus ten combat strength when within the borders of friendly cities that follow this religion. Holy Order, missionaries and apostles are 30% cheaper to purchase. Religion spreads to cities 30% further away. Combat units gain plus 10 combat strength near foreign cities that follow this religion. Religious units ignore movement costs of terrain and features. Your religion's pressure never drops due to losses in theological combat. No idea how good this one is. Theological combat is basically like a whole new minigame within religion in Civ 6. And scripture, religious spread from adjacent city pressure is 25% stronger, boosted to 50% once printing is researched. I think I'll go for one of the buildings that we can buy with faith. So, it's a really tough choice. I do like science, but I also like production. I think we'll go for a meeting house for the plus two production. Yeah, let's go for that one. I really like production. So accept. And that gives us an inspiration boost to theology, because that one requires you to start a religion. And do we have enough faith to buy a building already? No, we need 340. It's probably a good idea to start converting our cities, though. Before Spain converts our city. And the missionary only costs 80 faith. It's pretty cheap. So we'll grab one right away and move towards Germany to get ready for that war. Yeah, I don't really think we need many more hoplites. This is probably already enough. Maybe one more ranged unit would be nice. And some basic defenses in case Spain decides to attack us while we're at war with Germany. And there's the water mill for the construction boost. Everything has its limit. And iron working, so now we can actually upgrade our warriors to units that do not suck. As for our research, I would really like to get apprenticeship for the industrial zone. But build free mines is a very easy boost to get. We just need one more builder for that. Only four turns to recruit a builder. Three turns. Yeah, let's recruit a builder. And maybe we should get started on apprenticeship. That's 19 turns. Or we could get construction first and get a siege tower before we go to war with Germany. Siege towers are insanely good. Because when it's adjacent to a city, attacking melee units ignore walls and immediately assault the city. We definitely need that. Or well, we don't need that, but we want that if we plan to go to war with Germany. And we do plan to go to war with Germany. As for the policies, 
We got 144 gold right now. Not much point picking up land surveyors at the moment. I might just keep the plus one production. It's not amazing, but we can use the production bonus. But we need one more wildcard policy slot right now because we just got the profit, so we cannot get more great profit points. That's what the profit is used for, to start a religion. And that's all he does. Anyway, what do we want in that wildcard slot? Maybe a great general? That's not a bad idea. Well, let's try to get a great general, why the heck not? Sounds good to me. Also, if we plan to start some wars, we should get an encampment district somewhere. And yes, I will convert the bigger city first. The one population city can wait. Kill the barbarian. And I think this is a good moment to make a cut. I'm going to continue in the next episode. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.